Hey everyone, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do the walkthrough for our Decorative Arts Auction on September 27th, 2022. About 600 lots in this amazing sale with Asian antiquities, Odd Fellows collectibles, baseball cards, carpets, uh, silver, porcelains, glassware, lots of antique furniture, artwork, lamps, lighting, etc. So stay with me for the next 10 minutes or so and I'll walk up and down the aisles. You can see what we have in our sale on the 27th. All these items are for online bidding only. They're all cataloged. We got to a lot uh, over 600, 640 or so and uh, each item will sell one item at a time starting at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, September 27th. We have preview on Monday, September 26th for these items, 10 to 5. 10 to 6. Yeah, we're here till 10 to 6. Look at the size of those cloisonne. So this is pretty much the uh, section of the room we have the item shoehorned into. And um, we're setting up for our October modern design auction, which is a lot of this stuff you see down the aisle here. And over here is for the modern design auction coming up. And I'll just take a peek into the other room. You can see how stacked it up is it, in, it is in there. This is just your quick preview for the modern auction in October. Everything from the art back here on the walls, lighting, lamps, mid-century, Herman Miller, Eames, everything in that sale. But let's get back to the sale on September 27th, this coming Tuesday, preview on Monday. All the items are for online bidding. You'll see these items starting at lot number one. They'll be all cataloged as well as descriptions dimensions, condition reports, etc. So we started lot number one, which I believe is kind of over in this section. There's a lot of silver. There's a lot of um, nautical collectibles, including this binnacle right here. This is, this is literally lot number one. In the back here, you have some good, more nautical items, including the uh, ship's wheel. And then there's a ship's wheel on an easel back here. And there's other nautical items, including model ship there in brass and another model ship kind of with all the uh, ropes and everything. Let me move along. Then we get right into the silver, to the lot, the early lots right here. You have a couple nice flatware sets by Wallace. There's, this is a great, a lot 37 is a kind of a portfolio cover, but look at the work on that. All the silver. You have another set down there at the bottom. You have lots of serving pieces. Here's a nice pair of beaded purses. Looks like that's a piece of George Jensen right there. Silver plate, silver plate tea sets. And then we move into the back here. You have some nice, um, some nice Asian porcelains, dragons and mythical creatures. Nice lamps, lot 15. Here's a nice like Korean chest. Look at this guy, this is metal. You come all the way up on him. A lot of these uh, Asian antiques are from a big collection we picked up in New York City. There's another piece of maritime. The, uh, the consigner has had multiple penthouses and they were, these were part of his collection. He, had, he lived in one section and his collections lived in the other penthouses. So, um, you have Yadros in the back there. You have some nice artwork. Look at this great clock from that same New York City address right there. Amazing kind of bracket clock, all gilt on the face. Look at all the carvings. There's a face carving right here. It's very nice all the way around. Amazing clock there. More clocks, more steins. At the bottom here, you have some good decorative items. Look at those ram's horns and the uh, cannon models. There's some uh, good crystal glassware by French, and there's other Lalique. There's Lalique in the box. Look at these amazing candle holders. Lot number 74. Little Sevs, we won't come back to that, but a nice little Sevs table. We move this direction. 
French. We're into the lot 200s now. Let me get back into the 70s here. Here we go. Look at the uh, cloisonne birds. There's lots of carved elephants. There's lots of porcelain food dogs and cloisonne again. Cloisonne horse. Look at these great vases. This is very heavy. Oh my goodness. All metal. Great weight to it. Lot 121. Ugh. On the top here, look at the food dogs. Larger food dogs. Even larger ones. Fatter ones. Look at these great 165, 167, 169. Amazing deities right here. Move over to this one. Very nice. Bronze. And you have the horses in the 160s. This brings us to the Odd Fellows collections right here. The Odd Fellows were a fraternal organization uh, in the early, late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, kind of like the, you figure the Elks or the Masons. And they would, um, you know, they'd have their lodge. Well, the one in Wilmington was uh, deaccessioned. Here it is. This is the one that, this is, was the largest uh, building in Wilmington when it was built in the 1800s. And there's a picture of it. We have lots of Eden Lodge Oddfellows items. Those are in the 200s. Let me come around back this side. These are a pair of amazing cloisonne vases. Look at this good little uh, marble chessboard. Uh-oh. There it is. All right. So here we do this. All right. What are we going to go for? How about uh, red 25? Ooh, red 21. All right. Let's back up. So we haven't even really gotten to the furniture yet, but uh, we have some Northwestern art. Came out of a, an estate we did in Bala, which had a lot of great Oriental carpets which are later in the auction. Look at the size of these out of that New York City penthouse. Look at the size of these vases. They're over seven feet tall and they are amazing. Look at the, look at the work. Kind of palace vases. Here's a clock from Friendly's. It's a cast aluminum, it's uh, on both sides. Here's some amazing tiger cloisonne statues. Look how big they are. They're like bigger than bigger than dogs. Very big. All car, all all fine, finely worked. All right, let me come around this way. I'm gonna back up. Oh, out of that same uh, penthouse in New York City. This is like solid wood, carved Buddha head. Look at this kind of whimsical Tommy gun with the helmet lamp. Look at these great uh, inlaid chairs. They're sold individually because they don't match. But they're very nice. Look at the look at the inlay in the back there. 289 and 287 are the numbers. Here's the inlay on the back of the other. Amazing. All right. I'm going to back up a little bit. This is a very cool piece. A lot of interest in this on the elephant. It is a faux elephant. You can see it's kind of made out of a, a composition plastic material. Obviously, they're not the ivory tusks, but they are. It's very big and, and awesome. I think it's about 36 inches across, ear to ear. Here's some neat items right here in this uh, French curio cabinet with the ormolu mounting. All right, come around here. Pretty sure one of these desks is Maitland Smith. This desk right here is Maitland Smith. It's got a nice uh, leather top. You'll be able to see better pictures of it in our catalog. Another desk on the bottom with the carving. There's a Springfield rifle, lot 295, antique rifle. Here's a pair of these very cool Asian carvings. Look at these. This is an amazing kind of uh, pooty urn the lions on the side all the way down to there it's a good two feet tall 
You back up, you have chandeliers. You have a pair of uh, horse andirons. Look at this nice carved Asian table. You have a pair of these, again, from the New York City estate that we did, the penthouse. There's another pair of statues. They had them everywhere. You can imagine there's probably 200 lots from that house. More of the Northwest art. Let me just take a detour right here real quick. Here is some of the carpets. There's about 30 of them that came out of a house we did in Dalla Kinwood. And they are all like collector's quality. Super nice, super kind of plush. That one's about 497. You can kind of see the quality of them. And there's more that are, the larger ones are actually not in this room right here. Lot 308 are these large statues here, or make that vases, soft paste porcelain. You have Van Briggle in there, you have Lalique, you have uh, Imari, you have car models, lots of other statues. Look at this great, this is one of my favorite items right here is this brass lamp right here. Look at the, uh, the work there at the bottom. You have a good bronze statues all the way across. There's like a Hindu statue, lot 305. This is all marble, carved marble statue. Very nice. You back up a little bit, you have some good kind of German Steinware. Let me back up and I'll give you another taste of the mid-century sale, which is gonna be in October. The stuff you're looking at now is in the mid-century auction. All right, let me go to the next aisle. The size of that guy, a good three feet tall, all metal. His, uh, his weapon comes out just in case. I'm sure you remember that happened in the end of Gremlins. The Mediterranean weapon they had on the wall saved the day. Here's a pair of these great benches with the um, with the goose necks. There's a antique fall front desk. Continue on. Carved side tables, French inlaid, Korean Chinese. Oh, this on the bottom is a ceremonial Oddfellows coffin that they used to use in their ceremonies. Here's a pair of good elephants. As you can see, we have this stuff very stacked up. Oh, a pair of nice country French nightstands. Here's a great pair of mahogany Baker bachelor's chests. We continue on this way. You have oak. Oh, I know that there's some mission oak. This is Ellen J.G. Stickley. We come back around here. Kind of hard to get down this aisle, but you have Pennsylvania House dining room set. There's the chairs. It has a great table. It has a pair, it has a, a china cabinet and a buffet down there. You also have, this is Ralph Lauren in the center, the mahogany sideboard. There's another pair of uh, kind of bone or some kind of veneer horses. We back up. So most of the stuff on the front here is the mid-century sale. We have the block our decorative sale with the mid-century stuff. We come around this way. You have grandfather clocks, lots of art. There is a Steinway baby grand piano right here that we did not bury. Very nice, well done. You back up all the art. And one of the, one of the uh, most interesting items in the auction is this collection of baseball cards that we have. Everything from uh, like the 60s and early 70s. There's some 50s baseball cards. All of them are in cigar boxes. I'll insert uh, kind of a quick sampling of one of the lots into here. I took a video of just one of the lots. There's amazing items in there. They're going to be here. We're going to have preview on Tuesday or, or on Monday before the auction. This is what this is the uh, piece we Instagram. You should follow us on Instagram, by the way. It's the timber measurer. You use this to measure the length of the log. And then you use this caliber to measure the thickness of the log. 
And then once you measure the thickness, it'll tell you how many board feet are in that log based on the uh, numbers that are on the side. All right, we can thank YouTube for that explanation because we didn't know what it was at first. Again, here's a lot of the odd fellows ribbons and gavels and medals and collectibles along those lines. There's more kind of ephemera and art. Look at this amazing kind of Art Nouveau charger. This is earlier in the auction. I'm jumping around now. There's a good La 505, the West Town in Thornberry, Birmingham map, lot 505. Wonder if my uh, house is on there. All right, I think that's about it. Good 600 lots. Come see us on Monday. Give us a call if you have any questions. In the back here, you have these uh, kind of ceremonial swords and hooks and staffs from the Odd Fellows. There's more Odd Fellows items that are very cool that are kind of buried in here. There's one that's the Judgment Stand where you stand on it and uh, for some reason it drops down. But that's right here, lot 214A. So in their ceremony, I guess something would happen and if you passed or failed or you fell into the hole, I'm not sure. But the Odd Fellows were an interesting organization. All right, I'm gonna just walk down this aisle one last time and remind everybody to follow us on Instagram at Uniques and Antiques. Uh, join our email list on our website. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We only upload videos for items that we are selling in the auction. Oh, here's that stickly items I was talking about. This one is LNJG Stickly. It's signed on the back. Very nice mission rocker. We continue this direction. Put this down here. Continue this direction. All right, so this has been Ken from Uniques and Antiques. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the auction September 27th. Bye-bye.